Hi, welcome. We are back. Uh, we're the winery into the plantation, but we are going to take you on a visual tour of our, of our plantation and introduce the wines uh, in a chronological order so that you learn a little bit of the history of Bellmead uh, Plantation and Winery. So we're going to start today uh, at the old cabin where the original John Harding cabin. So as we walk up to the cabin, I do want to introduce you to the Master Garden. It's maintained by the Master Gardeners of Davidson County. And so, and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes we come out here and pick basil and fennel. Everything was self-sufficient. You didn't have a Kroger or a Jewel to run to um, if you needed something. So everything was done here on site. So if you wanna follow me, we are gonna head to the cabin. So, um, this is the original cabin. This was Daniel Dunham's cabin and it was purchased by John Harding in 1807. Now, um, Daniel Dunham um, had abandoned this a long time ago. This was still sort of Indian country. And, um, and this whole plantation actually set on the Natchez Trace Trail. And this is a trail from Tennessee to Missouri that the Indians used, um, it, it, and you, the parkway, y'all, it's now a national park. The parkway to Missouri is beautiful, but this land laid across the Natchez Trace. John Harding bought this along with 250 acres. Now, this is where he got his start. So John Harding had a plan. He came to Nashville um, and started a way station uh, for um, horse swapping. So you could trade your horse out or you could board horses. He actually boarded horses for Andrew Jackson, who is our president, right? And he uh, actually, his nickname was Old Hickory and Old Hickory Boulevard runs all around Nashville in a big circle. They say there's 10 different Old Hickory Boulevards and they'd be right. It sort of stops and starts at will. Anyway, Old Hickory, Andrew Jackson, uh, boarded his horses here. So, um, but uh, John Harding's idea was to raise race horses. So this is Founders Red, and this is John Harding. So this is where we begin. So Founders Red is a 100% Merlot. Now I say that because most Merlots have Cabernet and added um, as most, uh, that, that's sort of the European trend or a Bordeaux blend. Um, they know with what one grape it lacks, another grape will give. Um, so it's rare that you see these 100% uh, variety wines. So uh, this is our 100% Merlot. And this is John Harding. So we're sitting right here at his cabin. So this is very appropriate right now. So I'm gonna show you how to open a bottle of wine. Um, seems easy, right? But uh, there is a, an actual way to open the wine. So I've got my handy dandy wine key. And so here's what you do to open a bottle. So you're gonna take the knife and you're gonna slide up the neck till you hit that first rim. And then you're gonna make a hard cut all the way around. Don't be shy, it's glass, it won't break. So does that make sense? It's glass and it won't break. Oh yes, yeah. It won't break, but um, it won't on this. <laughs> so then we're gonna score up. And then if done properly, that capsule should pop right off there just like that, all in one, right? So okay. this is the proper way to open a bottle and uh, I always like it when it works so well. Next thing, you're going to place your, the screw in the very tip and this is a cork, right? Uh, yes, I am a little bit of a cork snob. We do not have screw caps here. And so you start here and you're gonna turn six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're gonna catch the lip of the bottle and pull up. Now I like to keep my uh, finger up here sort of protecting everything because you don't want to lean one way or the other. If you lean, your cork is going to snap. So we're going to go straight up with it. I think you can see it here better, right? And we're going to give it a little wiggle and out it comes. Um, so yeah, proper way to open the bottle. This is vintage 2016, so here we are in, in 2020. Um, this wine spent 15 months in barrel and now it has spent about the, a little bit longer than that in bottle. And so this is bottle aged. 100% uh, Merlot is gonna have uh, notes of cherry and chocolate and blueberry and some black fruit. So um, this is a very rich wine. And this one does come from Lodi, California. Now, we um, next thing we're gonna do is pair this with some of our wonderful food from the plantation. And so um, 
but this is where we start today, John Harding. Uh, John Harding had a son, we're gonna meet him, that'll be the next wine. John Harding eventually, um, he expanded this to about 3,000 acres. Now his son, when he came along, expanded it even further. This plantation, this is where it all began, here at the old Daniel Dunham um, cabin along the Natchez Parkway. So, see you at the winery.